वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्यूटर स्टडीज स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ इंग्लिश मीडियम चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस पार्ट टू नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दी वीडियो लिटिल बिट इंट्रोडक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू अबाउट माय चैनल थ्रू दिस चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ऑल दी चैप्टर्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ कंप्यूटर सब्जेक्ट एज वेल एज आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ऑल दी प्रैक्टिकल्स बिसाइड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू prepare the special uh, lectures for how to get very good marks in computer subject in standard 10 that is ssc so this channel will be helpful to you for both the years that is when you are in standard 9th as well as when you will come to standard 10th so if you have not subscribe my channel till now please do subscribe the channel so we begin this chapter so at present i will uh, continue with the input devices which were left to be taught in the first video and uh, after that i will be teaching you about the output devices then the next scanning mechanism is optical mark reader now i hope that you all may be knowing the meaning of omr sheet in ssc 50 marks uh, descriptive equation and 50 marks omr omr means what that equation is asked and four options are given a b c d and the answers are to be written in this type of uh, sheet which is given there in which there will be three circles a b c and d now suppose question number 1 if you feel that b option is correct then you have to fill that circle with the help of your pen like that way you have to answer the question now after the after you finish answering the question paper for example in ssc board there are lakhs of candidates answering the board exam now their papers this type of omr papers how to scan them or how to check them manually you cannot check you will not be able to remember the answers of all 50 questions that answer number 1 is a answer number 2 is c like that you will not be able to answer so i will it check for checking that thing this type of uh device is available which is known as optical mark reader in that you have to place the bunch of the omr sheet and one by one it will scan the omr sheet and along with this along with that at the same time you have to provide the answer key to that device that this is the answer key according to that it will check and it will generate the result what is this uh, magnetic ink character recognition or in short known as mica technology do you know it is very interesting thing if you are not knowing then you should know this thing now here i have given a photograph of a check in which on the bottom part of the check something is printed now that thing is printed using a, spe a special magnetic ink made up of iron oxide now what is this thing or why it is printed see nowadays we all have got color printers and the printing technology also has developed so much that the fake copy of a check could be created very easily but if we create a fake copy of a check we will not be having this type of ink so we will not be able to print this type of numbers so to add security to the check book all the banks nowadays print the checks using this technology now another benefit is on the right hand side i have given you a photograph of a device now what is this device this device is available in the bank so whenever any check comes for passing they insert the check inside this device so it will scan and at once if it is fake it will tell the banker that this is a fake check and if it is a correct check then it will get passed now i am reading out the information about micer which is given in the textbook 
but before that i would like to tell you that i hope whatever i am explained you you are able to understand the concept clearly am i right okay now i am reading from here micro technology is used by banking industry here contents are printed using a special magnetic ink prepared from iron oxide it is used for faster processing of checks this technology allows reading of information such as account number directly from the printed document actually here in the textbook it is given account number but just now we had seen the photograph of the check it contains four different types of information now micro codes can be easily read and understood by humans it is not like barcode because the numbers are printed so we also can read it so this was all about micro i hope you all are familiar with electronic card reader that is the photo displayed here where have you seen this type of thing almost all of them have seen this type of thing you may have seen it at uh, any uh, supermarket or you may have seen it in the atm center so now i will explain you this thing from the textbook an electronic card reader reads the content from the small plastic card that could be a debit card credit card or atm card the data is read from the card and the information is transferred to the computer this plastic card contains the information of the account holder this card can be used to withdraw cash or to make any payment then the next input device is speech input device now speech input or speech device is used for dictation of text instead of typing at present in our mobile phone we have got a small mic through which we can type the thing and uh, in okay google also here i have given the icon of okay google or assistant right there also you can give the voice command our smartphones are fully capable of taking speech as an input at present we can also search information using voice command actually we all are using this thing so we think uh, it's okay there is nothing new in that but if you try to think it is a very complex mechanism that whatever we speak our pronunciation voice quality of each human being will be different then to this device catches that voice and converts it into the required signals and sends it further and the process is done so this is very advanced technology now the last input is vision input device now vision input device i give you an example of our mobile phone suppose if you want to make any payment then your back camera could be used for scanning the qr code of paytm or any such digital uh, payment application so that is known as an uh, uh, vision input another example i give you is of the face recognition technology we can add face lock to our mobile phone or our laptop then that is also known as vision input then vision input is uh, also used by robots for performing the risky operations such as uh, driving or performing a surgery or any such kind of operation such mechanism is uh, very useful for people who are differently abled so here we complete all the type of input devices hope you have enjoyed and hope you are able to understand since i have tried to explain you by adding images and explaining in my own words instead of simply just reading out the contents from the textbook so now we are going to discuss about the output devices 
I am going according to the textbook first. The device is that provides calculated results. Actually, it should not be calculated result, but it should be displaying the output of the processed data are known as output devices. Commonly used output devices are monitor and printer. Also speakers should be added here. Following list presents the different output devices. Monitor, printer, projector, plotter and voice response. Here also the textbook has forgotten to add the most important device of output that is speaker. I will teach that also. So let's begin. So first we discuss about the output unit called monitor. Monitor are commonly used output devices. From other all devices, monitor are the most common output devices and the first and the foremost output device. Output, output is uh, presented on computer visual screen that is television type or television like screen. This output is for viewing purpose and hard copy that is print of paper cannot be taken and that is why the output is known as soft copy output. Now there are three types of monitors available so that I will show you one by one and explain you about them. So the first type of monitor is CRT monitor. The full form of CRT is cathode ray tube. So these are the primitive type of uh, monitors which were used in the olden days in the beginning. Now here I have placed uh, one diagram and another one is an image. So in the image you can see the uh, photograph of a CRT monitor. Now at present the monitors which we are using are slim while this type of monitors were very big and heavy. They were uh, nearly 1 feet 12 inch uh, broad. Now how was the working? To explain that I have put a diagram over here. In that you can see fluorescent screen. That fluorescent screen is the outside screen which we can on which we can see the output. Now how was the output displayed? For that at the end that is here you can see on the left hand side there was a electron gun which was throwing the lights of three colors that is RGB red, green and blue and different proportions of that light was falling on the screen to show different colors and different images. Another two types of monitors which we all are familiar with are LED monitor and LCD monitor. What is the full form of LCD monitor? The full form is or the technology which it used was or with the technology which it uses is liquid crystal display and the full form of LED is light emitting diodes. Now both the monitors in the image here you can see both the monitor looks exactly the same. They are slim, lightweight and user friendly. We all use this type of monitors. Then how can you differentiate between an LED monitor and LCD monitor? So you can differentiate by suppose if you are seeing the thing through LED monitor then from whatever angle you see the result will be the same. While if it is a LCD monitor then if you look at the monitor from the sideways then it will give a black type of color of the screen. It will not give a clear image. That is the main difference. And another difference is in the power consumption. LED monitor consumes less power than LCD monitor. The next output unit is printer. Now printer provides the hard copy that is the print on the paper. Now mainly when we talk about the printing technology on the paper then there are total three types of printers. Here you can see the images of all three types of printers. I will explain you one by one all the printers. So the first kind of printer is 
dot matrix printer now this is the oldest type of uh, printer now how does this printer uh, prints the thing on the paper for that i have kept a video a link of a video on in the description now the characteristics of this printer is it is very noisy first thing because while printing it uses the needle like uh, pins to print the character this needle like print strikes on the ribbon in which uh, color is filled and that ribbon is uh, touching the paper and that character will get printed on the paper so to print each and every dot it prints dot by dot and that is why it is known as dot matrix printer every time it hits the paper and it makes a very annoying noise another thing it is very slow in printing you will be surprised to know that it will take nearly 30 seconds to print one single page another characteristic it is very cheaper and slower the next type of printer is ink jet printer now see here i have not printed anything so whatever i am speaking from that only mcqs or questions could be asked so try to understand whatever i am speaking first thing first characteristic is this printer is used to take out color copies next characteristic it uses liquid ink it uses mainly four color inks that is black then cyan magenta and yellow these are the four colors of ink which are used to get color copies third thing that it sprays it does the printing work by spraying the color on the paper another thing is it is costlier and it requires such a lot of maintenance for example if you don't use a dot matrix printer for 6 months after 6 months when you use you will be able to use it it will not create any problem while this printer uses liquid ink so suppose for one month also if you don't use this printer then the print uh, this thing ink will get choked up in the uh, tubes and you will have to call the repairer to repair this thing so it requires such a lot of maintenance also and the last characteristic is it gives a very good quality of print copy the last kind of printer used for printing on the paper is laser printer now which type of ink does laser printer use it uses ink in the powder form and which type of copies does it gives it gives the black and white copy and uh, another thing it is uh, very speedy it is uh, speedier than the inkjet printer also it uh, does the printing by using the heat method so this was all about the laser printer the next output device is a projector here you can see the photograph of a projector now where do we use the projector where we want to present the content to a large mass of audience in that place we have to use a projector because monitor is very small we can't show uh, the thing on the monitor to a mass of audience and uh, it is used for a teaching purpose i to use projector in my computer lab to teach the computer practicals teaching material with text image sound graph and animation can be prepared and projected projection can be done on white screen or white wall projectors are very useful for teaching demonstrating and presenting the content this is the image of a plotter now this technology and this thing is uh, totally new for you so i will try to explain you this thing this type of plotter is used for doing the printing known as faxo banner you may have seen the 
banners in your city or you may have seen the hoardings big big hoardings in your city that thing is uh, printed using this uh, device named plotter now here the printing is done on a special type of uh, plastic type of material known as fexo here the image which you are seeing is of a small plotter actually whosoever is doing this uh, printing work are having the plotter of very big size and the thing on which it is to be printed that is plastic type of material the width of that roll is also nearly 15 feet the printing ink which is used is permanent so it is waterproof and it can prevail in uh, any type of uh, atmosphere or in uh, rain or sunlight or any type of weather here i don't think so that uh, there is any need of uh, any type of explanation to give the output of any sound that is you are playing a song or you are watching a movie to give the output of sound speakers are used now speakers are available in different size and different capacity nowadays monitor also comes with a inbuilt speaker besides that bluetooth speakers are also available in the market the last topic which is left in this chapter is voice response now stored voice and converted voice that is from given text can be presented to users who do not want to see or read the output on monitor projector or printer video games automatic answering machines alarms and signals etc are the applications that gives voice output here we complete this chapter hope you may have enjoyed the learning process and the way how i have prepared the video in this video i targeted on both the things that is how you will be able to understand the thing easily for that i added so many images and i have given so many examples plus in this chapter i also marked the things in red and bold so that you are able to find out the mcqs so if you have liked the video please hit the like button and till now if you haven't subscribe my channel please do subscribe the channel thank you